Hi, I'm Cody. And I'm Charlie. And this week's episode of WX4 features... Beast Mode, who played their first show here five years ago. What? Cameron. Cody. Henry. Cody. Of Beast Mode. Yes, hello, fellas. Awesome, welcome Good to the show. show. Thank you for having us. We're going to pick a pedal. Um, both of y'all are going to pick one, and then there's a question on the bottom, and you're going to read those questions. Charlie, what do we have? Bass driver. Ooh. That one's broken. <laughs> but pretend it doesn't. <laughs> pretend it doesn't work. Okay. Traditional analog delay. Mm. Bass, Bass EQ. EQ. Yeah. And then this is... It's some kind of stomp box of... Uh, American... Joe-Yo. I'm not really sure yeah. what it is, actually. I think that's a yeah. crunch pedal. Mystery so. <clears throat> Might be a crunch, yeah. Yeah. So, right. Is it that? Who is it? Who that's is it? Not Beans. Okay. But anyways. Uh, well, since my uh, bass player tells me I'm tone deaf, we'll go with the bass EQ. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Read that question and then pick a pedal after his question. And since I'm usually a broken bass driver. I'm gonna... There you go. Cool. Uh, yeah. Cool. Let's these out. So, uh, Cameron, why don't you read yours first? All right. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. What, did, what is that, Charlie? What did see. you say? Oh, it, how do you brush your rock and roll hair? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, great question. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 usually, I usually brush it about <laughs> two times a week in the shower with uh, about four razor blades. There you go. Straight stick. Okay. Uh, no shave cream. Uh, it's a little soap. You know. Well, uh, Henry, okay. let's read yours. <laughs> Check out my question. <laughs> All right, my question says, can guitar sur survive technology? Ooh. Can it survive technology? <clears throat> as in, like, the digital? Uh, well, everything. can it? Yes. Uh, people still play grandpa's guitars. Like, folk is still a, <laughs> right. still a, still a genre to this day, so... Uh, absolutely. Even in a digital age where pop and you know to dance music rules the world, mm -hmm. uh, there's still guitar gods and still guitar seminars. So yes, I would say that's a that's a yes. Yeah. Ding ding ding. Definite yes. yes. <laughs> Our other guitar player Corey is actually at a classical gig this evening. So yes, there you go. Really, where at? Um, is it out in Jefferson somewhere. Cool. But yeah, he he does that, yeah. and uh, it's fantastic, really. Cool. So guitar will survive. Guitar yes. will easily survive. Grandpa's guitar. Because uh, if you think about it, if uh, shit hits the fan, let's say nuclear holocaust or zombies or whatever you whatever you call it, what's the first Apocalypse. thing? The first instrument that's going to come back is probably the drums, right. and after that, somebody's going to put a guitar together. Yeah. Um, people carving woodwind instruments. That's not probably going to go down too easily. Mm -hmm. Brass, you can forget about that sort of thing. <laughs> so yeah. Well, see, that's the reason I asked that question because like. Picture this, 1930. You know who owned the night? Trumpet players. Guitar hadn't been yeah. electrified yet. Right. That's Trumpet true. players were on top of the world. Da, 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 da. They were the loudest. That's you true. know, that guitar player was in the back, ding, 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 but couldn't be heard, <laughs> right? Right. And then they electrified them. And then it served its purpose. And now, at least on radio, there's no more guitars. But yeah, I hear still putting people playing guitar. It just doesn't dominate the no. airwaves. That's why I asked that question. Let's talk about. I guitars. think I do. I think who, both of my who guitars. Who plays guitar in, in beast mode? Do you play yeah. guitar? Or do you guitar? I play mm -hmm. guitar. That's right. And then uh, okay. our other guitarist, Corey, also Corey. plays guitar. And his last name, Corey Flowers. So just go by Corey. Okay. He goes by Doctor Corey Flowers. So if you want to get okay. technical, Flowers, yeah. does he have a doctorate in guitar? He I does. Guitar performance, I do believe. Yep. That's Classical right. guitar performance. Wow, well, that's totally you awesome. Play... I'm the bass player, bass so. Player. Right. Okay. Um. And then drummer is who? <laughs> Richard, brother. Richard, Richard Mitchell, brother. little brother. Okay, he's right. a little guy. How 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 much younger? Uh, fourteen months. That's not that much younger. Did y'all have fun growing up together? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so my little brother, he's not here, so I can say this freely. <laughs> yeah. He was. A <laughs> for a little he kid. gonna see that. I can say that. It's already. Yeah, he was a bad. Well, little. how about now? Now? Y'all good? Yeah, we get along perfectly fine. <laughs> I mean, y'all been in band in a band in a while. Yeah, I mean, y'all came been... here. That metal fest. That was like four years ago. It was Paladin. Five years ago. I think really? Was, yeah. was it that long? That was ago? our first show. A long time ago. Before that was what? Was that was our first show. What? Here? Sure. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Our Beast first, Mode's first show was here. Our first <laughs> legit full lineup show. We didn't even have a stage. Yep. We just had a 
It wasn't even on. It was way. It was different. before I was even. In, in wow. Yeah. Two of those members yeah. aren't even. Yeah, I remember so. the singer moved away. Yep. And then the other guitarist, uh, he had a he had another baby. He's he a professional okay. baby maker. <laughs> yeah, that <yes>. man. <laughs> well, here you are. So, what's Beast Mode up to now? What are y'all doing? Y'all recording? Yeah. You got tours? What's um, up? So we we did a little recording a couple months ago. Uh, we just kind of dusted up an old track, uh, just to kind of bring out the old and make it new again okay. to let people know where we are now okay. since um we do have the second guitar player Corey, and um our tuning has changed and a lot of different dynamics mm-hmm. as well that as well as the vocals changing uh, is a big part because yes. our original yeah. album sounds completely different than our show which well is why if we you s- replace a front man that's yeah, that's a so. big deal. Yeah. There you go. Well, yeah. one of the perks of doing that, though, is it allowed us to uh, add a little variety. So now yeah. all three of us sing as opposed to just having one vocalist. Okay, so that's can, great. You know. yeah. So it's less of a front man kind of attitude. Yep. More of a all it's a front one. band. Sure. Front man. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a good way to look and at Corey's it. And Corey still definitely, uh, he, he handles most of the vocal duties because he right. can sing and play better. But I think as uh, the songs that we're writing now, mm-hmm. we're kind of focused on giving a little variety and making it so that uh, okay. it's a little bit more of a... How's, how do y'all go about writing stuff? Do y'all just do it all together? Or do you, one of y'all come in with a riff or something? Or? To be honest, um, for the most part, um, the last few songs we've <clears> written um, that have actually made it to the drawing board, mm-hmm. um, one person will go, and, and it's mostly Corey who does it. He'll come through and write a song, not a riff. He'll write a song. He'll write everybody's tracks out, the drums and everything, mm-hmm. and then we'll go through and change what we want to and kind of learn the process. Uh Corey writes songs, Grizz writes songs. I don't write a lot of riffs. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm supposed to be writing the lyrics now. So the last okay. couple songs we put out, I've done the lyrics for, and I'm trying to get the concept of what's going on going forward. And it's uh, it's a little different because before it was a lot of vampires and, and, and werewolves and a lot of mythical beings and changing up our style is... Uh, yeah. Trying to figure out what direction we're going in. I think what I got to <laughs> yeah. I think things. we got a good idea, uh, especially if I can put my personality on it. So y'all gonna put something out? Yeah, um, a single or is that what you said? You're working on a song. I think that's what we're gonna plan on doing yeah. is uh, doing a music yeah. video. <clears throat> yeah. We have some connections at a uh, secret <clears throat> location that has been very kind to us. So we're going to try to uh, work with them and do a music video shoot there, and then hopefully uh, come out with another product. And then, uh, awesome. yeah, we're trying and to keep. You'll that. have this. Oh, yes. For the fans, absolutely. absolutely. And where will they be able to find this video online? YouTube, Facebook, all of that stuff. Google like, it. Yeah, like, can we Google you? Google sure. it. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that y'all want to say about the song they're about to hear? Arise. Ooh. That's coming up next. Um. So Arise was probably, it was the first song that our new guitar player, Corey, brought to the table um, after he joined the band. Mm -hmm. And then our whole sound kind of changed, and we're kind of flowing in that direction now because it's, you know. So that was like song number one of the new direction. Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. We have no idea. We'll just leave it at that. Arise. (laughs) Cool. Cameron. There you go. Cody. Henry. Cody. Charlie. Beast Mode. Yes. Up next for coming, y'all. is their performance of Arise. Arise. Also, go to our JTM playlist on our YouTube to check songs. out the other two songs that they play. How next many week, did they do? Same. Uh, two, two more. Three. Total. They'd have three total. Three total. Next week, same place, same time. Cheers. Bloody day.